with opportunity and challenge for my for manager using public transport. I want to know if the challenge and opportunity is the same for every organization or if that can be different from the organization to another aim. How can manager make the concept work easy? Now, just uh, to make it easier, let us see. So first thing that we need to consider is the challenge or all the challenges. So, don't see the opportunity at first. We need to concentrate on the, uh, on the challenges. Because those tra challenges, once we can take them, okay, we can support them, overcome them. It's just after getting them all together, we'll have the, I can say, uh, the opportunities. Don't see that the challenges as, uh, uh, I can say, uh, as a bad fact. Because inside of it, you'll find, I can say, uh, it, it is a toast with both sides. The positive side and the negative side. The positive side means that you misunderstand the way that you should combine all the factors together. How to manage different tools that you have. Okay? But once you can change, okay, you can combine them in the rational way. Okay? You are sure that you will have the opportunities. So there is no specific difference between... Okay, challenge and my, opportunity. My is that. That's depending on the way you are going to act or okay. combine things together. We're talking about challenge. My question is that if the the picture you give it, it, it can apply in the same way for all or the uh, okay. or if that can be different from the organization to a I'm organization. not sure that we can, uh, uh, excuse me, apply for all of the organization. Because, you know, we have different kind of organization. We have profit organization and non-profit organization. Things that you use for profit organization cannot be applied for a non-profit organization. And then was... My question is... Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, my question is that you, you just focus on the economic challenges. Uh, how can you manage people who leave uh, your organization to work for your competitor? You say? How can you manage okay, people who leave your organization to work for your competitor? Uh, you, you, you want to keep them? La, la, yeah, you want to keep them. So it, it's a big challenge. So let us say you have... I can quite understand that now you need to understand that this is a part of our management of human resources. Yeah. So once you can identify those skills and you bring satisfaction to the to the uh, to your employees. So I am quite well. If you create a, an environment where everybody feels at home and they feel that they are part of the business. The business belongs to them as well. I'm sure that you will be able to keep them all. Because they are home. And they will be, like I can say, much more at ease to work for you. And you use their skills as well. And they have, like I can say, uh, I can say uh, um, all the advantages that you identify that your uh, competitors are not likely to offer them. So once you can give them all the satisfaction that they need, so you'll keep them for good. May I have two examples? Two examples of what, what you will satisfy. You know, usually people the most important for you. focus on money. I'm not sure that money is the true fact of keeping an employee in the business. I can give, simply give you an example. Myself, I've been experiencing teaching. Why shouldn't I left? Uh, I leave the school where I used to teach before and go to another place since they could offer me twice of the price? It's because of the students 
and the relationship that I develop that were developing between uh, I can say the staff and the professors. So don't think that money is all. Once you feel at home, you'll better stay at home, even if they will offer you some other economical opportunity overseas. I am Luis, and I'm happy to put my best friend question today. So as a manager of an international administration of enterprise or organization, what skills do you develop to manage people inside of your organization in the project? And usually, uh, the skills. Let's see the skills. The, one of the specific skills that I guess we should use, not only the, uh, let's say, uh, um, the fact that you can quite understand that we have like plan, trying to organize everything. So that is one thing people, they usually, uh, uh, they don't take into consideration the new sciences. That's one of the key that will help you to understand the cultural shock, how people are behaving in the environment, different laws that you can meet that are different from your own country. So once you combine the principle, like I can say, the specific tools of management to those what I call, the, that they call new science. So I guess you will be able to get through your specific goal. Thank you.